for joining us for week three of Wreck-It Right. We are so excited that all of you are here today. Yes, and as always, we're gonna start the day off with a game. So everybody stand up on your feet and let's get into it and have fun. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's me, your boy Neff. Happy to see you, happy to be here. Hope you guys are excited, because once again, we've come back to it, it's game time. All right, everybody, so today's game is called Monotuned Disney. This game will test how well you can recognize a song based on the lyrics alone. With no music, no rhythm, can you correctly identify the song from a beloved Disney movie? Round one. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small, and the fears that once control me can't get to me at all. What do you guys think that's from, huh? Let's see what Disney movie it's from. And you guys can name the song, you get an extra point. Let's see what it is. Let it go from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. <clears throat> it is where we are, it's enough for this. Wide-eyed wanderer that we've got this far. What do you guys think that is? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, let's find out what it is. That's right, it's Can You Feel the Love Tonight from Lion King. Moving on. And the tapestry here on my skin is a map of the victories I win. Look where I've been. I make everything happen. What do you guys think that's from? If you guessed you're welcome from Moana, you are right. And what can I say except you got it. That's right, you got it right. Let's move on to the next one. Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, she's got everything. Let's see what the answer is. It's part of your world from the Little Mermaid. It's Ariel, digging around, you know, with her, with her fork in her hair and all the good stuff. It's a great song, I love that, I love that scene. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you should just remember what your old pal said. Boy, you got a friend in me from Toy Story. Good job if you guys got it. With dessert, she'll want tea in my dear, that's fine with me. While the cups do their soft shoeing, I'll be bubbling, I'll be brewing. And I don't mean brewing like the bear in Boston. We're not talking about that. This is a totally different thing. So what do you guys think the song is? Let me know, yell it out loud. If you guessed, be our guest. And that's right, and I'm impressed. It's be our guest from Beauty and the Beast. Great job, everybody, great job. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me, where the crowds would cheer when they see my face and a voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be. What do you guys think that is? It's very inspirational. I like, I like it very much. This is going up on my wall. I should have like a picture of like a, a cat hanging from a tree. I love it. So what do you guys think the answer is? If you guys guess go the distance from Hercules, you are absolutely correct. You guys went from zero to hero and no time flat. Great job, guys. We'll see you guys next time here at game time. Let's keep this thing going. Good morning, boys and girls. We are so glad that we get to be here with you today. Everybody stand up on your feet and let's get ready to praise the Lord. i 
Hey guys, do you love video games? I know I love video games. I had the opportunity in my lifetime to basically uh, have the video game industry evolve all the way from Atari to PS5. But what makes a video game work? What really makes it tick? It, it won't work or be very enjoyable if it's not programmed. So what is a programmer? A programmer is a person who writes computer code, which is a set of instructions that make a computer do a particular thing. In the movie Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph is a heavy-handed wrecking machine. For 30 years, day in, day out, he's been doing his job as the bad guy. My name's Ralph, and I'm a bad guy. Fix-It Felix Jr. was programmed to come and, and with his golden hammer and fix everything that Ralph has broken. At the end of the game, Felix uh, gets a gold medal. That's how the game was created. That's how Ralph and Felix were programmed. However, after the game gets turned off at night, all the characters hang out and hang out together except Ralph. Ralph feels that he isn't accepted because of this bad guy status. He dreams of the day where he is accepted and has all the benefits of the good guys. Ralph decides that he doesn't want to be bad anymore. He wants to be good. He wants to be liked and accepted by the other people in the game. He made the choice to step outside the game he was programmed in, and he wanted to find a medal like Felix. Did you know that God is the greatest programmer? God is the designer and writer of our lives. In the beginning, he programmed everything, starting with Adam and Eve. Satan well, he's the bad programmer. The hacker who breaks into the game and program in order to steal or change or destroy God's design. In John 10.10, it says that the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and that they may have life more abundantly. Number two is the hacker. It is because of the bad programmer, the hacker, which is Satan, that each one of us are all born with a sin. We wreck things around us because of, of sin, the bad choices we make, the attitudes we have, the decisions and actions uh, we do. We are Wreck-It Ralphs. God programmed us to know Him and love Him and have fellowship with Him. Adam and Eve loved God and had unbroken fellowship with Him. They not only lived in a perfect world, but they had perfect fellowship with the Creator. Satan hates God with all of his being. He hates Him. God is perfect and untouchable, but we aren't. So Satan goes after our programming. He gets us to hurt one another and turn our backs on our Father. Ralph's quest lands him in Sugar Rush, a sweet, candied wonderland that is not as sweet as it seems. Sugar Rush is a fallen world. The game was hacked and reprogrammed. This fallen world is also under the control of a fallen character. Sugar Rush is under the control of King Candy. King Candy. He's cute, he's funny, he, he looks as sweet and innocent as the world he lives in. But just like Sugar Rush, King Candy is also not what he seems. King Candy acts like he wants to help and do good, but he only wants to hurt and do harm. He is a liar and he cheats. After all the lies are found out, Ralph learns that King Candy is actually Turbo, a disgraced character from Turbo Time, an old classic game. Turbo Overshadowed by the newer and flasher games, uh, Turbo wants the glory that is not his. Turbo jumps games to be something he is not, a king. King Candy is more than the main antagonist in Wreck-It Ralph. King Candy is also a movie metaphor for an adversary, Satan. In Isaiah 14 and in verse 12 through 14 it says, How you are fallen from heaven, O shining star, son of the morning. You have been thrown down to the earth. You who destroyed the nations of the world. For you said to yourself, I will ascend to heaven and set my throne above God's stars. I will preside on the mountain of the gods far away in the north. I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the most high. Just like Satan fell from grace, so did King Candy. King Candy fell from grace when he jumped games and hacked Sugar Rush. Turbo, as King Candy, set himself up as the king of Sugar Rush. He actually set up his throne and called himself King, the most high character in Sugar Rush. Satan does not want to scare us, instead he wants to trick us. Most of us will run from something scary. I know I will. 
That is why King Candy disguised himself as something sweet. He didn't want to scare the girl racers in Sugar Rush. He wanted to trick them. John 8.44 refers to the Satan as the father of all lies. Just like King Candy, Satan does not want you to know the truth. That truth is God loves you. Remember when he found when he and Vanellope were about to leave for the race? He was rolling around looking for them. And what did he do when he found them? Did he tell them the truth? No. What did he do when he found Ralph? He lied to him and he tricked him. He blinded Ralph to the truth by telling him a bunch of lies. Ralph believed them and crushed uh, Vanellope's car so she couldn't race. And King Candy sounded like he wanted to help Vanellope, but really he wanted to hurt her. Thank you for being part of today. Now let's continue into the next part of service. Hi, I know y'all all enjoyed small group. Now it's time to worship. So everyone, let's stand up on our feet and get ready to worship Jesus. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm Good Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. Oh, and I've seen many searching for it.
There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come fly.
to what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence lord hey it was another exciting week worship praising game the word it's been fantastic don't forget to post on our social media with our hashtags to so we can see what's going on in your lives and in your churches hey are you guys ready for the final week of wreck it right it's going to be great we can't wait for you to join us next week we love y'all see you